Yeah, <laughs> I do too. That, that blue streak is a kidney buster. It's awesome when you're like eight years old. And then as soon as you hit to the, the point where like you, you feel things in your bones, then that becomes a, a big problem. So, hey, you know, we are still keeping an eye out for thunderstorms to develop across northeast Ohio. Check it out over the next few hours. We're still looking for our storm initiation. That's right. It will ignite uh, as we head over the next couple of hours and then it starts to settle down late tonight. Here's the situation right now on the radar. We really have uh, just a few little blips and those blips are some light showers that are down in southern portions of Carroll County. Not expecting that to be and right. <laughs> they'll, they'll pop back on. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that just be a beauty? Uh, but this is a tornado watch that's in western Ohio. So we'll kind of dive into that in just a few minutes. But when it comes to severe weather forecasting, nothing is ever guaranteed. And last night we were talking about the morning rain, what would happen after the morning rain, and then that would be the setup for the evening round. Well, we had the morning rain that lasted longer, laid more clouds down. The clouds were a little more stubborn. Now we have sunshine, but did we miss the window of peak heating? That's always the big question because you need the heat to really get things rocking and rolling. All of these clouds, as you see here, headed towards Sandusky, Norwalk, that's all debris clouds, the upper level clouds that are firing off of thunderstorms in eastern Indiana and western Ohio. But we are seeing quite a bit of sunshine here. Even with that cirrus deck, we have sun that is poking through and that has helped to warm us up. We're sitting at 81 now in Elyria, 81 in Mansfield. And remember, thunderstorms love heat and they love humidity. So not only are we warming, which right now we're probably going to cap that off, but we have really seen an increase in the humidity levels. I'm sure you're feeling it out there with those dew points in the mid and upper 60s. All right, the bigger picture shows these thunderstorms just wailing it now portions of western Ohio. These are tornadic storms. They're big. They are starting to fizzle just a little bit right now, but keep in mind, we still have many hours here, probably about four hours where the window is open for more development to take place. Uh, but you can see that cirrus deck that I was just referencing right there that's headed up towards Sandusky. We talk about CAPE, Convective Available Potential Energy. This is the juju of the atmosphere. Look where the best juju is. It's west of us. So if anything, this will hopefully see signify that we can lay back just a little bit. That being said, look, they've got a tornado warning right now here northwest of Piqua. That is uh, going to continue to move to the southeast. So looks like it's going to stay west of Columbus and north of Dayton at this point. But boy, that is certainly a concern. Here's our national design our hour by hour forecast. Scattered storms bubbling up over the next couple of hours. That is right on target. We're probably going to see some strong storms. We may see some severe storms. Wind and hail look to be our big threats right now. But as we get into the late night tonight, that starts to fade. But of course, then we have to set up for the weekend. And that's where Matt Standridge comes into the story. And Keith, you're exactly right. That, that boundary that we've been watching push northward with the heat and humidity continues. But what's going to happen this weekend is that we're not completely done with thunderstorms. In fact, that front is going to push north and it's just going to stall right along Lake Erie and then back towards the west, towards northern Indiana. Storms like boundaries. So what's going to happen this weekend? We have more chances for thunderstorms. The best chance for severe weather, just like Betsy was talking about, is this evening into the overnight hours a little bit. For the next couple of days, for your Saturday and Sunday, big weekend, right? Father's Day weekend. We still have chances for thunderstorms, but the severe threat may be a little bit lower. In fact, we're just under a level one severe threat, includes all of Ohio. But that goes tomorrow afternoon. Sunday, actual Father's Day. We could be talking about a couple pop-ups here and there, but I think we'll get a little bit more sunshine going into Sunday. So for tomorrow, afternoon thunderstorms likely to fire once again, not as strong as they may turn out to be a little bit later this evening. A stray pop up going in on Sunday. The heat though continues those 80s and that humidity just linger right through Monday. By Monday night, a cold front comes through by the middle of next week will be a lot cooler. But this weekend you do have to watch out for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. More of what's new is coming up.